मॉडल and we discuss about dividend growth model as well <clears throat> so that was in our lesson 1 lesson 2 we had a discussion about risk we discuss about credit we discuss about how we can manage uh, risk management and we discuss about performance giving so today lesson which will be uh, and we discuss sources of finance as well today lesson will be understand the long term source of finance which will look you know our lo3 learning outcome three please if you have any question drop me email and you might look over c.co.uk so today lesson long term finance finance mean you want to borrow money for the long period of time normally we can say more than a year so you have to think about the sources of finance where you can raise money so please when you looking the money or raise the money always think about the purpose to borrow the money is it the really is the money you want to borrow for holiday purposes or you want to borrow money to be invest in uh, or buy property that's a potential loan in the, in that will help you in the long run so always look the purpose always look around the tax rate what is tax rate you know what is benefit towards tax like if you have a debt financing we can save on the tax because you paying the interest interest is expense for the business and that's a good for uh to you pay the less tax you can save it <clears throat> but on the other hand if you doing equity financing because equity holders we pay the dividend after the tax amount because they are invested in the business and we pay them dividend return on their investment so that's the key big difference when you decide to so make the re recommendation management debt and equity financing use of dividend evaluation model share the price and we look around evaluate the usefulness of capital asset pricing model okay make 3.1 make the recommendation on the management debt and equity so debt is cheaper than equity at the moment base rate is a 5.25 so we we look around the debt is a cheaper source of finance compared to equity and we prefer to be debt financing that but we have to think about the weighted average cost of capital we have to keep in mind the gearing ratio high gear mean high risk you know you don't want to be put the company in a high risk if you can't afford it to pay back uh, then can be company can go uh, in the liquidation so we have to think about leasing equity debt a hybrid leasing venture capital these are all different sources of finance it has its own advantages <clears throat> so optimal capital structure remember the graph you know the cost of capital versus the gearing static trade of theory which is the firm in the stable position will adjust you know their current level of gearing and pick picking order theory which is we can look around that's also considered from preferred hierarchy of the financial decision <laughs> okay why we choose the debt debt finance in the long run debt is cheaper than equity that goes into tax benefit lender isn't going to tell you how to run your business the business with the sticky revenue stream and that can be very tip and more time to be actually run your company so why we choose the equity no interest payment no liability no monthly payment operational efficiency in the case of the vnp ratio which we can look around and the follow up funding and so which finance option the best you know structure of the business is the capital structure minimize the weighted average cost of capital that's the key you know we have to look around the debt we have to look around the equity what's happened as the average you know 
the weightage every cost of capital <clears throat> so we can look around the floating flotation cost issue debt issue equity inherent uh, interest rate issue equity and issue debt uh, debt rate tax rate issue equity high issue debt low earning volatility issue equity high issue debt low business growth high and issue debt low debt to capital structure issue equity and issue debt low and high in percentage of the issue debt is high issue equity is low and so on and so we can look around the the percentage and we can make the adjustment and we can decide you know which method is the best so that's you know under 3.1 we can explain different and we can enhance our discussion 3.2 divide the valuation uh, models to the determine the share price and the cost of capital share price what is meant by share share is the proportion of your investment that is quite crucial because the share uh, the proportion of the investment that you have in the business that you know is quite crucial to keep you know your shareholder happy to increase the proportion of the investment guys let's you know we we'll look the dv dv dividend valuation method can you spend few minutes please just go like google it look around dvm what is a dvm And what is what are the formulas? So yeah, look on if you say cap plan, if you say you know as we discussed few times. Okay, stating the value. Oh, thanks for so stating the value of the shares can be estimated as the present value of the future dividend discounted at the shareholder required return. To calculate the shareholder required return, the cost of equity we work you know backwards. <laughs> The share price PV, the future dividend discounted at K is a K. K is represent the cost of equity. If you know the share price and future expectation regarding the dividend, we can re uh, reduce the KE. So dividend evaluation model are the method which we can use it. DVM assume the market value of the share of the company based on expected dividend stream. So P is the price of shares now, D is the dividend current, one plus P, how much we expect the growth in the dividend, K is the cost minus G is the growth. Is the growth. So estimated the current X dividend share price, we can look around the dividend per share, we can look around the estimated annual cost in the dividend, we can look around the return required by the ordinary shareholder, the cost of equity. We can rearrange the equation. We can say D cost of equity, D O, which is mean dividend. Uh, now one plus G is the growth, P is the price plus one G, whatever we expected the price will go up or not. Okay, so we can calculate, you know, by using the equation dividend evaluation method, K E, which is the cost of D divided by PO. D is the dividend. P not is the price today date. The cost of you know equity as the decimal and dividend you know constant and the share price now times zero. Okay, we estimate to the way the estimate you know the growth rate is dividend past dividend extrapolating these you know based on the past dividend pattern. We have uh, earning retention model, which is Gordon growth model. Assume the growth is depend on the level of earning return in the business. How they estimate the growth? G is equal to D naught plus dividend in naught years ago minus one. Dividend naught years ago, one divided by N minus one. N represent, you know, normally the time factor. Where N is the number of years dividend growth, the, the method can be used if the recent dividend pattern is a considered the typical historical <clears throat> pattern is expected to continue. How to estimate the growth? Key exemption, the higher the level of retention in the business, the higher the potential growth. Formulas with G, G is the growth, B is the earning retention rate, 
and or is the way to calculate, you know, PHE profit after tax divided by the opening shareholders fund investment. Okay, so weaknesses of the dividend versus current price, market price, which is subject to the subject term influence such as the market movement because the market you know is not a constant their prices carry on moving around like you know think about now inflation rate how much is it where you can find the information we had a discussion in the previously you can look around ons office of national statistic figures so that's quite good to explore and contextualize in your calculation considerable distance the estimate of the cost of equity. For the dividend, in simplified, we usually assume the no growth or the constant growth. However, there is a no guarantee of the dividend in future, which made or the cost of equity calculation. Relevance earning, we can look around earning don't teach it as such, you know, in the DVM. However, the earnings should be indicators of the company's long-term ability to pay dividend, therefore, in estimating the rate of growth of future. So, which we can look around these, you know, these are the crucial points, guys, we need to be look around, we have to calculate. So, what we have, you know, so I mentioned you in ACC, we have an F9 exam. If you go on the website, it's called Open Tuition, or you can find a lot of examples, say, ACC article on DVM. I can show you it quickly now. So we can say ACC article on DVM. Yes, yeah. which is main yeah. dividend. Theory. So, what is a DVM? You can find here, and then if you find PDF, you know the PDF version of it. So, you can find there came capital asset pricing model. So, you will see there a lot of you know discussion on ACC website, dividend theory, which is carry on publishing that information. Dividend valuation method, Gordon method. We have a Miller and Maliani according to Miller and Maliani. The debt is cheaper than equity. Yes, dividend. We said P D. Yes, we can look around carefully. Consideration, Gordon Crown, so five. Like you know, so you have all the discussion here. You've been given some numbers which we can calculate. You know our values and all, which we expected rate of return. As a dividend. So it's quite good, you know, to look around these and in your assignment, you can add the reference and you can add, you know, these model in your discussion. Anybody, any question? Okay, let's few, spend a few minutes on capital asset pricing model. Please do a bit of research. What is about? So spend two, three minutes. Huh? Okay, thank you. Thanks for sharing the information. Let's we'll start then. So, well done, well mentioned. Okay, so we can look around M, evaluate the usefulness of the capital asset pricing model, how we can use the model. Okay, so capital asset pricing model, the formula which we can look around the cost of equity or is mean the return received by equity investors, which would mean dividend. 
RF is mean the risk-free rate of return without any risk. B is the beta, higher the beta, higher the, high the return. If the beta factor uh, is high in the business, if you expect high risk, you expect high return as well in business. RM uh, is the return market, RF is the risk-free. So that's, you know, rate of return. Uh, systematic unavoidable risk, you know, the company share, they're determined by the revenue and the cost. Sensitivity, we can look around RM return on the market, you know, as a whole, which we can calculate capital asset pricing model, CEV, PM. We can look around the market return, we can look around the free rate, and then we can look around the beta. Beta is called risk factor. If your beta is a higher that way, we expect your know, return goes upward, like here your return, here your risk, so on. So that's, you know, which we can show in the graph as well. Okay, so using the security com comparison, the investor use the CAM to different security con contrast, you know, the rate of return, portfolio of assets, yes, which, you know, the company you invest, which industry you invest, portfolio theory to choose, you know, suitable investment portfolio, uh, asset allocation, and can be done to capital asset pricing model, intrinsic. Value invested in the list, you know, you came to evaluate the agent of the book value and the market value. Asset is considered a good deal in trading uh, lower than the intrinsic value, which we carry on. And the net present value, which is NPV, if the positive, we normally we accept, as we discussed in the lesson one, for all the project capital asset pricing model, why consider higher quality of NPV? because it's quite good, you know, higher NPVs mean low risk and higher return, real value of money. Therefore, the judge, you know, investment project and diverse, you know, the kind of the risk capital asset rising using frequent better than the dividend evaluation explicitly consider the company level of systematic risk and relatively to the stock market as a whole. So superior weighted every cost of capital, superior weightage every in provide the discount rate for the use the investment appraisal that's also really considered which we need to be okay guys yeah, so that was our back w v a c c which is f9 of a c c if you want to further watch and look around well, of course you know i'm not promoting but it's quite good to use you know different because collective learning from doesn't matter because all on the public domain so you can look around here, FM, which is called financial management. And then please, you can view uh, all the lectures and which you can look around in your free times. Yes, so wherever. So when you download these, yes, so each week, you know, you can look around what we're supposed to learn under, which I will show you in a minute. Uh, each each lecture there. And if we scroll down, you have quizzes, you have lectures, you can watch lectures, the reviews. So like, you know, every lesson. So if you want to look around, yes, chapters and old exam papers. Yes, it's quite good, please, for the review where you can pick, you know, for your assignment, the topic. Huh? So we are caught, you know, not exam, so you can you and you can download the booklet handout. Yes, and you can make the study body as well for that subject. So if you look that, you can of course you have to set up the account, and then you can download and you can use the handout for your. Okay, so. Yes, if I want to download, I can. I can show you guys. So you will see here. So you will see all. Yes, so you will see we are calculating working capital. 
with me, running capital. We had a discussion that the equity sources are financed. Yes, so is a discussion on the VAC. Yes, which is risk. Yes, we had a discussion about risk, risk management. Yes, so you've been given all the formulas. Yes, VAC and others which we just got in growth approximation which we just mentioned and all you know so it's quite good you know the book which you can and all the lectures according to the chapter which is also good to follow okay so that's all from my end thanks for attending to this session hope we'll see you during next lesson we'll do assignment discussion and have a lovely weekend thanks for joining thank you bye-bye